Okay, so let's take a look at how to do question number four here, this um, lookout tower question. So the, 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 what we have here is we've got a tower that's 25 meters high, and we observe a fire to the east of the tower at an angle of a depression of seven degrees, and then another fire to the north of the tower at an angle of depression of three degrees, and we want to know how far apart the fires are to the nearest meter. So we have to look at this problem here in... Um, two different perspectives in order for us to calculate how the far apart the two fires are. So the first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make a little sketch and we're going to call this the side view um, of the tower. So the way we have it here is we've got a little tower, a little lookout station here at the top of the tower. Okay, so I'm just going to draw something here to represent the tower. Okay, and then the person is standing sort of right in the middle here. And what we see is we're going to pretend that we're looking east right here at an angle of depression of um, 7 degrees. So, okay, so first of all, we have the height of the tower, okay, which is 25 meters to where the person is standing. Okay, then we have um, a distance that we don't really know what it is, but that's the distance to the, where the fire is. And then we have the line of sight that we're looking at the fire. Okay, which is going to be our angle of depression. So I'm just going to mark out sort of the similar triangles here. Okay, so what we have is we can extend out sort of the line of sight. Okay, and the angle of depression is 7 degrees. Um, and then the vertical height to where that fire is from there is going to be the same as the height of the tower, which is 25 meters. So how far away is the fire from the, the tower itself? Okay, so that's what we're looking to figure out here. We're not looking to see the distance. Uh, we don't really need to know the distance of how far it is from where, well, sort of the, along the angle of um, depression. But what we want to know is how far away is the, the, um, the fire from the tower. Okay, so we're going to call that length A, okay, which is also the same as length A here because we've got sort of two triangles set up here. Okay, so just remember, these are two right triangles here. Okay, so for us to calculate the distance that the fire is from the tower, okay, we can use um, the property of tangent, okay, for the 7 degrees. Seven, so tan of 7 is equal to opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be 25 meters over side A. Okay, so that's how we can calculate how far away the... Um, the fire is from the tower. Now the reason we need to look at it, um, we're going to draw another view here in a second, is we need to figure out how far apart the fires are to the nearest meter because there's a second fire that we see from the tower but it's pointing in a different direction. Okay, so this is like the east view. Okay, so if I were to redraw this here, and I'm just going to call this the top view now, we'll take a look at what this looks like when we when we see both of them together. Okay, so the top view is we're going to have just, we're seeing the top of the lookout. Okay, and then looking eastward, um, so I'll try to match them up here. Okay, this is going to be the length A, because that's where we see the first fire. But then there's another fire that we see that appears north. So I'm just going to draw a segment here to represent north. Okay, and it has the same would have the same side view, just a different angle of depression. Okay, so I'm going to give that the length B. And then what we're asked to figure out is how far apart are those two fires. Okay, so this is what the view looks like. Okay, so what we actually have from the top view here is we have a right triangle where one leg is the east view. Okay, and then the other view here is the north view or the north leg okay but those two legs form a right triangle okay and then that right triangle here the, the length c is the distance between the fires okay so if we could calculate the length of a which is how far the fire is um, on the east view away from the tower we could do the same calculation for the north view, which would be length B, which is how far away the fire is from the tower. Okay, so remember, this runs along the ground, okay, and because the east and north are separated by an angle of 90 degrees, that forms a right triangle, 
and then the net distance between the two fires is um, the direct as uh, the hypotenuse in this case. Okay, so our we'd have one equation we set up, which is tan 7 equals 25 over A. We're going to set up the same equation to calculate B, but we're just going to use a different angle of depression. Okay, so again, the height is, remains the same, but we're just finding out the distance along the ground. Okay, so remember, so there's that, that second distance, B. Okay, so if we can have A and B, and then we can plug them into the Pythagorean theorem and square them, and then take the square root, we can find the net distance, which is C. Okay, so if we rearrange, um, we'll just call this equation 1, okay, and equation 2. So if we rearrange equation 1, A is going to be equal to 25 over tan 7. Okay, and when we plug that into your calculator, you should get a value of about 203.6. Okay, and that's going to be meters. So that's how long it, the fire, that's the distance along the ground. And then B is going to be very similar. Okay, it's going to be just 25 over 10, 3 degrees. Okay, and that's going to give us a longer distance, which is 477 meters. Okay, and then at this point, all we need to do is, those are the legs of our new triangle that we see from the top view. So we have C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. So again, we can substitute those in, 203.6 squared plus 477 squared. So you get a, fair, a couple of fairly large numbers when you add them up. And this comes out to be 268,981.96. Okay, you might want to carry a few, as many digits as you can. And then we take the square root of that. And that is going to be equal to... 518.6 or if we round it up the closest answer to the nearest meter is going to be 519. Okay so this is how you have to look at this question. Um, you got to draw a side view first okay and figure out what we're looking at in terms of the triangle and how far away the fire is from the tower but then we realize that if we looked at it from the top view the two legs that run along the ground form another right triangle where we can find the direct um, displacement between the two, the two points there. Okay, so two trig functions to calculate the, the runs along the ground, and then we apply the Pythagorean theorem to find the net distance between the two. Okay, so that's how we want to look at doing this question.